So last time I was recording, I did end up dying again. <laughs> so say hello to Chrono 4. I figure during the credits of the game, I'll have a sort of death montage playing <laughs> of all the times that I've died. Could be pretty interesting. But I am getting pretty good at the opening levels of this game now. It only takes about an hour to get back to this point. Careful. I'd rather not jump into spikes and die immediately. Another secret down here. I think I've seen this one before, though. Hmm. I'm sure it wants me to bounce off of all the snails. Okay, that's doing it the hard way, I guess, but even then, it's still pretty easy. I'll do it the easy way on the way back. First, a bit efficient. Where are you going, fish? Oh, no! You blinked out of existence, that's not fair. Whatever, fish. You win today. Pretty sure you can be smushed into the ceiling. Yeah, I'm not going for those. Not going to risk dying for like 400 gold. That was perhaps not the best idea. We're okay then. You need a charge attack. Some kind of mutant fish. Now we seem to have found friendlier versions of the eels in Mario 64. Another secret? So another interesting thing is Shovel Knight seems to be able to breathe underwater just fine. Which I think is further evidence that he is in fact a fish person. I think I'm onto something with this. Ooh, music sheet. Oh god, okay. That was a little bit too hasty, I think. <laughs> Could have ended badly. Still need to take my time and be careful. Unless I want to start all over again. Say hello to Chrono 5. Sorry, fish, I didn't know that was part of you. I kind of don't like this screen so much. Platforming to deal with, as well as fish projectiles. Make it. But I think here it stops and we just fight him. Yeah, one cycle. Normally he'll, like, switch over to the other side. Though I was too savage. Eel's alive. I haven't had a ride like that in ages. I think I'm gonna be sick. Anyway, I'm about to drop another great deal on you. Even though you're to save my life, and I should probably give this to you for free. But with a description like that, an unstoppable arc of destruction. I can't just pass that up, can I? Don't even need that underwater soggy turkey, but I'll take it. About to ladder smack you. I think this game could use like a, a some sort of sound effect when you hit something. But I guess I would get old eventually. Not bad. Mm, okay. Gonna have to go for the fish instead. 
and just pass up on those gems. There's always more. You're not gonna get away, fish. And this secret's nice enough to just have a torpedo take me all the way back. At first I thought I'd have to jump back using the remaining bubbles and stuff. Maybe just like a sound effect here when you ladder smack something. Might be a bit satisfying, I think. I think I shall kill you with your own projectiles. And get like a collection of them going. Maybe. More torpedoes. I'm not a ship captain or anything, but pretty sure you don't want your torpedoes to launch inside your vessel. Seems like that would be bad for all involved. Well, why am I so slow? Oh, thank you for being here, torpedo. Almost died. What the hell? Why did you explode? Whatever. Try that again. Oh. It's an anchor battle, is it? Let's see whose arc is more unstoppable. Have you resigned to defeat? I'm purple and everything. I'm supposed to have the advantage here. Oh. Right about there should do. Gotta watch these anchors. They can be pretty treacherous. to bring you down into the abyss. What you need is some of this. Oh, he hit me with an anchor. So, so unstoppable. Oh, well, see you, Jim. Come back. Another secret. She'll have to ignore you, Knight. I think the charge attack bypasses shields, too. Pretty handy. And there's a lot of treasure in there. And soggy turkey. Taking your money and your food. Yep. Charge attack doesn't care about shields. That makes life easier. What about you? Ooh, I can even mess up these snails. Can't kill them because they're still invincible and all, but at least I can hurt them. I wonder if this level's almost over. Not yet. Don't really like this screen too much, but it's not too bad. As long as I don't miss. No problem. Now it's over. If this level wasn't Mega Man-like enough, this is definitely Mega Man. Short corridor before the boss fight. My gems, my vessel, my ocean. Your very presence tarnishes. You are to lay claim to the sea itself. Your greed knows no bounds, Treasure Knight. Your hands are no less dirty. Even now, others are paying for your avarice. Let us duel, winner take all. Oh, really? There's so much gold in here. If I win, I'm gonna have like 100,000. I can buy all the meal tickets in the world. I'm 
I'm starting to agree that these have boundless combat potential because they are very helpful when it comes to boss fights. You know what also helps? Charge attacks. And see ya. <laughs> that was a quick fight. Yeah. Halfway. I think that means we've defeated half of the bosses now. Not bad so far. Getting okay at that level now, too. Wonder why I can breathe underwater. Weird. Let's see. I can't do this yet. Because there's an item here that I need to get in the Lost City. This is where I've died the last two times. So let's hop back in there. Show this level who's boss. That's right, Shovel Knight. We got it this time. Charge attack. Very drawn out charge attack, but still. I believe that fishing spot down there is just an apple fish. It's not very useful. And I died in a pretty dumb way last time, too. I'll point out the screen if I get to it again. No, not if, when I get to it again. I'm not gonna die. Who do you think I am? I'll just say that it's not a good idea to go diving into every screen. Leads to some unfortunate situations. Get some bird. 